And now to the case of a man accused in a deadly triple shooting. Our cameras capture the moment Russell Cormier was taken into custody by police. We've been following this case since last week when deputies said he shot a total of three people, killing two of them, including his ex-wife. Early this morning, police found Cormier at Gerber Park near the East Tex Freeway in Northeast Houston. Channel 2's Robert Arnold is live at the jail downtown with what deputies are now saying about this case. Robert? Russell Cormier is in the Harris County Jail and he's facing even more charges. The manhunt for Cormier came to an end after investigators and U.S. Marshals got a tip that led them to that northeast side park. He then heard the defendant say, I'm going to shoot your son. Russell Cormier didn't make it to his first court appearance. Jail staff is tending to injuries he suffered while on the run from police. Cormier also didn't want us to see his face as he was brought to the jail Friday morning, even though his picture was plastered all over the county for the last five days. A tip led investigators to Gerber Park, where Cormier was sleeping for the night. He should have uh, just been a little bit more cautious in following uh, you know, the, the officer's commands. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says Cormier initially pulled a quick move and had to be tased. Cormier is charged with shooting, dragging, and killing his ex-wife, Fannie McWhite, at the home they once shared on Green Canyon Drive. Police say Cormier then shot an old co-worker, Thornton Bivens, at a trucking company on Kindred near Highway 90. Gonzalez says Cormier then grabbed a few things from his RV before burning it to the ground and shooting one of his neighbors who survived. Sheriff Gonzalez also says they recovered weapons when they arrested Cormier, and those weapons are being tested to determine if they can be linked to these shootings. We also spoke with Sheriff Gonzalez about the possible motive behind these shootings. We're going to go more into that coming up at 5 o'clock. Reporting live from downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.